Hello everyone, welcome to Digital Realm. Welcome to the realm with me, Proen. In today's episode, I'd like to go over the Nano Remos 101s to get you guys started with your Nano Remos this year. Catch you in a bit. Welcome everyone, let's begin with Nano Remo 101. With part one, I like to create the profile. So, first of all, you're going to be hitting sign up, entering in your email, your username, and then make a password. Don't forget to select your region. The region will be important for later on for all your writer's community and your local home region. Once the profile has been made and you logged in, you'll be met with this dashboard. For part two, we'll be creating your novel. With creating a novel, we're going to be going into the novel section. As you can see here, I have multiple novels throughout the many years I've been doing NaNoWriMo. I've had a couple of years where I've been doing back-to-back -back on the Legendary Crystal, so you're going to get a little bit behind the scenes of what my, my books are about, um, God's Awakening. And I'm more than happy and more than excited to share with you those um, series ideas and all. Back in 2015 it was where I made like a Sword Art Online type style book which kind of relates a little bit to Proen. And in 2013 was my like kind of delve into the whole magic and, and I kind of get away from warrior style Proen and more into uh, a bit more magic based, a bit more like hmm is this world magic or is this world like humans and stuff? So anyway, we want to we wanted you to create your novel. So for the year, set your novel up and we will be going into the edit. Once you've clicked on the edit, we'll be met with a couple of little things like the title, the genre, the cover and a synopsis with a excerpt in the novel. If anyone is out there who knows uh, or can draw, um, I would greatly appreciate a cover-up. I've never been through a cover-up before, just because of my lack of um, skills in, in art and all, which is unfortunate. But I would love to have like a crystal with like, a couple of fragments, different color fragments going around a crystal, like a blue crystal. And in the sky, there's like the sh like these clouds couple of light clouds, dark clouds with some shadows that would be like the gods looking over the, the crystal and the fragments. That would pretty much be like a front cover I'm thinking of right now for my first book. So once you have all, all of that sorted, right now it's, it's mine's blank, I'm going to fill that in and we'll make a little bit of a jump quote to it. And now you can see a little bit behind the scenes of my actual synopsis. <laughs> So enjoy that. Right, going on to part three is home region. Now we're getting into your region. We'll be finding you a local area for you to meet up with others, to interact with others on the on the Nano Remo forums, and also just to chat with those that maybe you'll become buddies with in the future. You don't necessarily have to have a local area. I'm still trying to find mine. Currently, I'm set to San Bernardino. I'm also partnered with um, Pomona Valley. One of the cool little things is though, is you get to see everyone's word counts, you get to see a little bit about them, their profile, their story, and you get to get inspired from others that are in your area. Um, one time there was an event in my local area um, at a local coffee shop where the coffee shop was actually doing discounts for people writing their NaNoWriMo stories. And it was really cool to kind of see the community and everything. I like to get out there one time and, and meet other people in the area. Uh, I'm very much of like a shy um, introvert, if you will, uh, someone who kind of would be, be okay by myself, but then with new people, I'm kind of like um, nervous, if you will. So as much as I like doing this, is a way of me trying to get bridge out of that discomfort or uncomfort zone and speak to others and speak to new faces and all. So that's why I pretty much uh, wanted to put this stage three in is your home region because you never know what kind of interactions, you never know what kind of um, people that are out there which will have the same interests and 
kind of likes and dislikes and all that as, as yourself, which you could make friends out of this. You could have writing buddies, you can um, have that kind of continued drive with one another. And if you'd like to add me, add me uh, on Perron on NaNoWriMo itself, and I'm more than happy to add you as a friend and become writing buddies, and we can inspire and, and continue each other's drives on with NaNoWriMo throughout November, starting with November 1st to the 30th, and then onwards. In part four of this 101 NaNoWriMo, we're gonna be going into the badges. Now there are many different types of badges from personal achievements, which are on an honor system based system where you will very fairly on yourself judge if or not you have achieved these badges. I need to go through mine and find out where I am. Obviously you know that um, I'm a Nana Rebel, so I need to be taking that one because I'm still continuing on a project from prior years. But there's a medal for that, there's badges for that. There's also um, badges for your writing and also badges for participating. So if you go to your dashboard, you'll actually be able to see some of the requirements, some of the badges that you'll be able to get with NaNoWriMo going through the 1st of November to the 30th. So as you can see on, on the dashboard, there's ones for announcing your NaNoWriMo, there's ones for your local area, ones for updating your word counts and stuff like that pretty much, and also for donating. They have a great non-profit and this isn't sponsored, but there's a great non-profit organization for NaNoWriMo that does this. And a lot of their merch and a lot of their products go towards programs in, to inspire young creators in writing and also for schools and events and stuff like that as well. So it's a great cause. Then you go into your actual writing yourself where you can have updates, 5, 10 day, 15, 30 day updates, and then you have your word counts, 16, 67. Um, 2,000, 3, 15, 10,000, 25,000, you know, that's etc. Um, that you can unlock throughout the throughout the month. So that's something that I really like about For the Words and it's something I like about NaNoWriMo is that you have those self-achievements that you can drive towards and it keeps you inspired, it keeps you going and um, you feel good when you unlock them, you know? Next I'll be going into chapter 5 or part 5 which is getting inspired and I'm going to be going over a little bit about the inspiration of myself, but there is also an inspiration tab um, on the NaNoWriMo website, the org website, and you're more than welcome to check that out. Here's a little insert from my experiences and my what inspires me coming right up. Going on to part five of this mini series of 101s for NaNoWriMo is getting inspired. Now, one of the things that inspired me is one of my biggest inspirations is this book right here, the Orcs Omnibus Trilogy. This is a three book omnibus, all in one, by Stanley Coles. I've never completed a, like a big series before, or even like a, a book um, per se. I always like start reading it, I get halfway through and I put it down, I never really come back to it. This was the first book that I've ever read, and not only was it just a book, but it was a three book series. Um, now there's like a season two with um, three more additional books, so I've read all six books now, which to me is mind blowing because as I said, I don't complete books. So my biggest inspiration was Stan Nichols and I can forever be thankful to him. Um, actually after reading this, I even reached out to him many years ago with um, some words of encouragement from him in doing my book, which uh, I will try and dig up and if I can find it, I'll put it up um, for you uh, in, my, in my emails. But if not, um, just, to let you, just to let you know, like even, even someone who didn't even write back at this point. Stan Nichols wrote me back. Uh, and so you can reach out to your favorite authors too. Uh, and if they're able to have the time to reach back, you know, they may even have some inspirational um, sayings for you as well. But if you go onto uh, Twitter, if you go onto the Nana Remo, there's a lot of people on there showing a lot of advice for this event and to keep you going for the 50,000 words and into um, the, next, the following year, you know, because as I said, this is not just going to be a year, a monthly thing for November. This is a, hopefully will be a, a yearly thing where I can continue to um, create my, my, my stories, create my books and my series and, and, and get them out there just like Stan Nichols did um, with this amazing omnibus uh, trilogy from way back, uh, I believe 2005. So it was 2004 when this was published. Going from, going from the index and all. So, 2004, back then, World of Warcraft was coming out as 2005, roughly, um, with a bunch of like big inspiration 
RPGs and role playing games and all that, which I was really into. So with this and combined with World of Warcraft and Legend of Zelda and things like that, that really inspired me in writing my own adventures. Um, as you've probably seen throughout all my different games and content, I've always been called Proen. And there's a little interesting thing there that maybe will be played into uh, down the line. Um, where I am in different if different areas and different games and stuff like that. And one Nanarimo I actually wrote um, a different story altogether for my, my current story that I'm writing. It was a different project, not part of the series. But there were some interesting things there. It was kind of like Sword Art Online, um, Log Horizon and stuff like that where like real life characters are being sucked into a game. And I kind of played on that a bit. I did write quite a bit of that too, so maybe I can put that out there for everyone. Um, since I'm not sure I'm even going to be able to finish that. Uh, at all, being that I'm back in my main series, but just just wanted to let you guys know, find your inspirations, find your authors, find um, what gets you guys the drive to write, uh, and then eventually you're going to be going on to write, and you don't necessarily have to purchase this, uh, I'm going to take a picture of it and just let you know what the word count is, but I got this a couple of years back, it is the, um, pretty much a calendar to help you out with writing, with word counts and stuff like that, so what you want to be doing is 50,000 words in the 30 days. Day one, you want to have 1,667 words. Um, so that's what they want you to do each and every single day. Where if you write 1,667 words, you will be able to reach on the 30th day the 50,000 words. So just keep that in mind. 1,667 words can get you 50,000 words in 30 days. Okay, it sounds like a lot, and that's why I said prior in my, one of my other videos, just write 500 words a day is better than zero words, because you're making progress, you are making a world really, you're making something out of nothing, uh, and it, it's, it's coming alive, you know, 500 words a day, 1000 words in two, 4000, you know, eventually you're going to hit like a 10,000, 20,000, you're going to be like mid NaNoWriMo at 25,000. You know, that's an impressive fate, you know, even if you're doing your first, your second, your third, don't even worry about the 50,000 words, don't even worry about your word count, just think, like, you're creating something right now, just think, if, that, if that's what drives you, if that's what gives you the passion, if that's what like, really inspires you, then just write, you know, don't worry about the word count, if the word count is your is your focus, your drive, your, your push, um, because you want to hit that 50,000, so you want to prove to yourself you can do it, Get the words on the page. Don't worry about perfection. Don't worry about getting everything um, spot on, you know? Do that in post. Get your words on the page, even if it's like a bunch of malarkey for one chapter. Um, one of the things why I mentioned I wanted to get my re a new opinion on word of the, for the words.com is because I lost a whole chapter. Uh, I wrote so much on it, I didn't save it, and something happened where a bug kicked in and lost a whole chapter. Um, I believe in that chapter where we're going through like a, a desert and there was a, these insects and creatures and all that coming out and they were fighting them and stuff. My chapter that I wrote, I don't know if it necessarily was better, but it definitely took a different drive. And, and that chapter alone really set up some uh, character interactions which kind of set up some evil intentions, some, um, some love interests and stuff like that, which came from that second chapter that I wrote, that second part. Um, which I, you know, originally I lost and was very different to what uh, I, I rewrote, sort of thing. So, not only is it a, a, not a bad, necessarily a bad thing to write malarkey, but when you go back, you may be able to, maybe to write something better than what you originally wrote. So, don't worry about deleting words later on, just get your words down, don't backtrack, don't backspace, because those words you wrote count towards the 50,000, you know, so which is why I say don't, don't worry about perfection, just keep on drive. Keep on writing, keep on your drive, um, 1,667 or 1,667 words a day is your kind of your goal, um, but don't worry about the words, you know? So as I said, take two, two different paths. One is your words your goal, you know, or two is you want to finish a chapter at a time, or, or even three, you just want to sit down and write, and if you're able to write 500, 600, 700 words, and you wrote five, six, seven hundred words in that day, that's perfectly fine, you know? It takes you two days to reach that one day goal, that's fine, you know? Because you're able to keep on driving your story, you're able to keep on writing your story. If it takes you two months to write your 50,000 words, it took you two months, that's fine, you know? What I'm, what I'm trying to get across is that don't be discouraged, don't be, um, 
kind of disheartened if you were unable to hit that 50,000, you know? You get sick. I got sick every single November, you know, maybe because of lack of sleep. Maybe it's something I'm constantly trying to um, split myself between work and, and, and writing the story and everything like that. But what I, that's, what I, that's what I say about these videos every single time. I want to make sure that I'm continuing writing. I want to make sure I'm continuously making videos um, past November. I don't want to just lose that drive. There's so much coming out in November. It's kind of it's kind of crazy. But with my own advice to myself, don't worry about the words. You know, just keep on going for it. Just keep on writing little by little, because eventually you're going to get to an end point where you're like, oh, I, f I finished. I got to the end. Let's go back and see what we can tweak. Let's go back and see what we can change. Let's see what we can kind of um, perfect here and there. You know. Wait for it afterwards. Get your story down. Get your story to the end, and then take a little bit of a break and come back to it with a new mind, refreshed uh, sense of kind of um, sense of what you want to have with the story. You know, maybe there's a chapter where you want your love interest or something, or there's a chapter that wanted a different, totally different path, like I had, which kind of was not in my my hand. You know, it was kind of taken out of my hands because it was deleted, but um, it just it just kind of worked out that way. You know, but. This is what my this is what inspired me. This is what keeps me inspired and what keeps my drive. Um, wherever you find it within the words, wherever you find it in um, your favorite author or favorite books, or wherever you find it within music and stuff like that, find your inspiration, find your drive, and you know use that to, towards writing. You know, don't get just don't get distracted and stuff. Take off notifications. Don't get distracted with what music you're gonna play, um, which I've done before in the past. I I more focused on what music I'm gonna listen to rather than just writing. Just sit back and, and, and write. You know, if you want help with word sprints, hit me up on on Twitter. I'm pretty sure I'm on currently on there as a digital realm or Perm65. Um, I will link it in the description below. So just come back to this video. Come back to here if you want a refresher on or just want to like a little recap on um, what helped me out kind of not get discouraged what helped me out keep my drive um, this year I'm gonna I'm gonna, it's that, I'm gonna knuckle down I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish the story up and hold me accountable for that <laughs> you know but what I want mainly is to help you guys out reach your goals reach your your accounts whether it's 50,000 10,000 whatever it would be uh, I want to help you guys out keep that drive and we're going to continue with it past November this time um, and, and I'm going to be there with you guys so if you need any help need any advice if this helped you out let me know in the comments below uh, and we'll continue in the next part which will be updating your word counts and programs to use in order to attain those word counts whether it be for the words a Google Docs Evernote whatever it may be we'll catch you in the next bit so part six is updating the word count. Unfortunately, there is no word count uploaded right now, but tomorrow, the 1st of November, there will be. However, I did want to go over a couple of things that NaNoWriMo has provided for everyone, and that is the word sprint. They have an option there for your own personalized word sprint, where you select it for a matter of time and you start writing on your document, or a group, where you actually have a group of NaNoWriMo writers, like your word buddies or writing buddies, and you are able to compete with one another trying to get the worst word counts in your word sprints. So this, that's why I really love these tools. I really love um, what NaNoWriMo has done. It's really been evolving. And next year, I'm looking forward to see what they do for the whole year of 2019 when they become more of a yearly thing rather than just November. But if, if NaNoWriMo isn't the website that you want to be using, you want to go outside of that, maybe you have more friends on like Twitter or YouTube and stuff, Definitely seek out NaNoWriMo YouTube. I can link it in the channel below. Definitely seek them out in the Twitters too, because there's constantly groups doing their word sprints on a regular basis, and that's throughout the whole entire day. So if there's a certain time of day that you don't can't meet and you want to do word sprints with people, other like-minded people who are also writing, definitely seek out those channels, seek out those Twitter feeds, and write to your heart's content. Before we wrap up um, this whole one-on-one nano email, I also want to mention there are goals that you can set yourself, tracker goals, um, to keep yourself kind of hitting those milestones. Nano email has done a great job with the badges and all. Um, there's the calendars that you can put your word counts on and stuff like that. But also within nano email, there is a word tracker goal um, where you can set yourself and try and achieve your own goals. Lastly, once you've worked all that hard work, You've done your updating your word counts and you've continued and you've hit your 50,000. The last thing you'll be doing is claiming your win. Now, this would begin on the 20th of the month. 
So the 20th of November, this will unlock. There will be an orange button for your novel, and you can update your word count and be validated and verified that you hit your 50,000. Copy and paste from a Word document, whether you're using For The Words, you're using a Google Docs, you're using Evernote, whatever your writing is on, whatever your draft is on, your 50,000 words, upload them into NaNoWriMo, be validated, and hit that winner's tab. Get your t-shirt as well. It all goes towards the non non-profit organization of NaNoWriMo. It goes towards a great cause. And lastly, before we wrap up, I would like to let you all know that next video will potentially be about For The Words. It may take a little while, it'll probably be out next week some point, because uh, I'm going to focus on my writing starting tomorrow, no no November 1st. This is the website, a little brief showing of it, if you wanted to kind of look into that. Um, and also I want to leave with a final note from Stan Nichols on his website, because I couldn't, unfortunately couldn't find the email. Um, on my current email address and all. So here is a little excerpt or a little paragraph on his advice to you all and his encouragement and words in order to help with NaNoWriMo this very year. So if you like this I would love to hear from you in the comments on your, your thoughts, on your encouragements, on your inspirations for others, for yourself, for myself and I will look forward to seeing you in the next round in Anarimo. And good luck with all your writing, everyone. Until next time, stay awesome, stay in the realm. And I'll be proud you've been awesome. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye, everyone.